Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Homestead Hero. Uh, my name is Brent Brewer. We're here in the bar. We're going to be doing a review of the Dixie Chopper today. Um, I've had this chopper for almost 10 years now. Uh, there's some things I really like about it. There's some things I absolutely can't stand about it. Um, it's been a very durable mower up till now. Well, I mean, even now, but it's with age, it's starting to wear down. So I'm in the market looking for a new mower, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have first, and maybe you can help me decide on what I should get. So here we have the Dixie Chopper Magnum 2460. It is powered by a Kawasaki FS730D motor, which I believe is 23 and a half horse, if not 24 horse. Um, I'll tell you what I like about this mower is it's hard to beat the stainless steel. They don't dent, they don't break. When you clean it up, it really does look good. I rarely clean it up. It's a mower. Um, it also has the ability where you can lift the seat up. It's very easy to work on from here. As well as you can pull the floor pan up and swap out your belts, clear anything out. You can take both hubs off of the pulleys for the belt system. This is where you snip. You can adjust your deck height. You can lock it in the upper position. Bring it back. Dixie Chopper had a phenomenal warranty. It's one of the reasons that we went with the Dixie Chopper. I think it was something like five years at the time. It's lifetime warranty on the frame. Bends, brakes, they replace it. Um, over the years, I've had some work done to it, not a lot. We have the occasional tire leak. That happens with all of them. We got a new front tire here. It does come with a rope system, uh, rollover protection. I took it off because I go under trees. I don't really go on hills or hillsides. So it was more of a, an issue for me than it was a, a health. You have good clearance in the back. I've never hit a curve. It never bottoms out, and I have no issues with the dual tanks behind you. You have the swap from one side or the other. They hold four and a half gallons on each side. It is a 60 inch cup. It comes with the X2 cutting system. This deck cuts very well. Um, pleasantly surprised with how well it does cut. I like the cut of this mower. I went to some thick grass that was wet that should have never been in, and I had no problems whatsoever. But what I don't like about this mower, we'll start here. I don't like this. Because I have to bend all the way over to swap my links if I go to a different yard. You know, it's not an absolute deal breaker, but I'm 6'4", 300 pounds. I'm kind of fat. It's hard to reach down. It gets on my nerves. If I want to lock it up, it almost takes two feet just because of the position of where that's at. The pedal's not really big. I've got a size 13 foot, so it makes it difficult. Um, another thing I don't like, you can take these off, but there's no quick way to do it. They're bolted on. You have to bolt them off. I can usually blow the whole thing out if I lift the middle with the leaf blower, but... Eh. Uh, the newer motors, or newer mowers, I know that they have just a pop, or you can just pull a pin. I'd really like that. It does have grease ports for everything. I've got, I believe, three grease ports on this mower. I have done all of the maintenance on this mower since I've owned it. Every oil change. Uh, I've swapped the drive belt. I've only went through two in 10 years. I've swapped the deck belt once, and I did blow a hydro once, but that wasn't nothing out of the ordinary since we used to use it for commercial mowing, and this is their top residential mowing. Um, my biggest complaint with this mower is that the 23 and a half horsepower does not equal speed. It only mows five miles an hour, which you're probably thinking, yeah, that's average. And it is, if you're on a residential yard, 
you know, five miles an hour is perfect. You're going around mulch beds, you're going around trees, you're going around swing sets. There's all sorts of obstacles in your way. Um, but what I'm about to show you is that when you have a three acre flat field, five mile an hour is really slow. Um, I would like something with a little more speed on it just for this back field. Um, I don't need a subcon or subcompact tractor. I don't really need a belly mower. The zero turns perfect for it. It's got a good width deck. It makes the stripes look nice. But again, it's slow. It's very time consuming. Um, so with that being said, I will say one more thing I do like about this mower, and I think it has a lot to do with these stainless steel tanks, is that the mower's heavy. And with the mower being heavy, it lays down a really good stripe. It does not have a striping kit on it. There's no striping kit there, but it does lay down a very good stripe. And I'm very happy with the stripes that it puts down, but I really want a mower with more horsepower with a higher speed.
just to recap, Dixie Chopper Magnum. My likes. I love the way it stripes. It cuts grass very well. It's very predominant bold striping. But there's more things about it I don't like. What I don't like about it, it's slow. It took me almost an hour to mow this field. I don't like the way that it disperses grass. If you look, you can see it almost looks like a hay field. That's because it only disperses grass one lane over. It doesn't shoot them three lanes over. It doesn't make an even covering. It's only one stripe over. And the last thing that I don't like about my Dixie is it's like riding a Bunkin Bronco. It has no suspension in the seats. Um, when I purchased it, and I believe 2012, no one really cared about suspension except for Ferris. And I couldn't order Ferris. I, I couldn't afford it. So now with all the new mowers out, everyone's got like the long travel suspension with Wright. And then you got the My Ride with Toro. I think Skag has the uh, adjustable comfort seat and a moving platform. The Dixie does not. So look for a new mower. If you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments. Thank you. Mm -hmm.